hello everyone let's implement circular queue in this video so i will write one class which is class cq and in this class i will take data members first data member will be array of some sites so int arr of sites so sites should be declared as macro at the beginning so i will say hash define sites and i will take some sites so suppose i take size as 5 and other data members will be front and rear so front rear i will declare inside the class in the public part i will write functions for circular queue so first will be default constructor so it will be cq then insert function will be there which takes one integer argument remove function will be there which returns integer and there will be two more functions one is each full and other one is is empty so let me write down the definitions for these functions so inside the default constructor i will initialize front and rear front equals to rear equals to equals to some value so to which value i will initialize that i will initialize it to size minus 1 in circular queue so we have seen the reason for this in the last video so if you have not seen my last video please go back to the last video understand the theory of circular queue and then come to the implementation of circular queue so here i will initialize rear and front to size minus 1 after that i will write insert function remove function so insert function void cq scope solution insert it is taking one data as argument now in insert function first i will increment the rare value and then i will store the element at incremented value but when i increment the rare value i have to increment it like rare equals to rare plus one mod size so again the reason for this is explained in the last video and after that arr of rare equals to data so if the queue is not full then i will insert the element so here it will be if not it's full otherwise i will throw the exception so else throw some exception say overflow then definition for the remove function return type of remove is integer it do not take any argument in the definition i will check if q is not empty so if not is empty then i will increment the front value as front equals to front plus one mod size and i will return the element at front so return arr of front then i am supposed to write two more functions one is is full other one is is empty so bool class name is cq scope solution is full so what is the full condition when the queue is full at that time front equa equals to rare plus one mod size and what is the empty condition so i will write the empty condition in is empty function so when front equa equals to rare at that time circular queue will be empty so these are the definitions let me go through the definitions in the default constructor both are initialized front and rear both are initialized to size minus one in the insert function i increment the rear and then store the element in the remove function i increment the front and then remove the element is full definition if front equal equals to rear plus one more size is empty definition front equal equals to rear so everything seems correct now let me create the object of circular queue let me try to insert some element and i will remove element and i will print the output 
so it will be first i will declare the object circular queue object cq cq circular queue cq is the object cq dot insert i will insert value 1 2 3 4 so first one then for two then for three then for four Now I will remove the element and I will print them. So see out insertion cq dot remove all the four elements. I will remove two, three, four. Let me compile and run this. G plus plus cq dot cpp is the name of the file. Semicolon is missing somewhere. Thirty two forty four. Here when I throw the exception. I need to give semicolon at the end. Now let's compile dot slash a dot out one two three four is the output. So I am getting the correct output. So I have pushed, I have inserted four elements and then I have removed four elements. Now in case of circular queue, I told you that I, I, I can store one element less than the actual size. So size of the circular queue is for you. So I can store only four elements in that now let me try to insert one more element here suppose i write cq dot insert and again some value then what will happen now if i compile and run then it will it has terminated the program because the exception is thrown so i did not write try catch that's why otherwise it would throw the message that overflow has happened overflow it would throw the message overflow so let me put it inside try catch suppose here try block i write and So it has printed overflow message. So because we have seen the concept of bubble in circular queue. So I can always store one element less than the actual size. So now let me make this program as menu driven program. So I have made the main function as menu driven program. Circular queue object is created at the beginning, then menu is printed here. One option for insert, two for remove, three for exit. After that, I am taking the choice from the user, and according to the user choice, I have written the switch case. Case one is for insert, in which I am calling the insert function, and I am passing the data which is accepted from the user. Case two is for remove function, in which I am calling the remove function. So both the functions call are under try catch insert and remove so that it will handle the appropriate exceptions case three is for exit the whole thing the whole switch case i put inside the infinite while loop so that the operations will be continued unless and until user do not exit so when user press three as a choice then it will exit from the program so let me try to run this program and let me show you how it work how it works so i will compile it and run it so first option for insert suppose i insert 12 then again first option i insert 24 again insert 36 again insert 48 i have inserted four elements 12 24 36 48 if i insert one more element say 56 then it is printing overflow since i can store only four elements now if I remove the elements, first 12 will come out, removed element 12, you can see here. Then again remove, removed element 24, again remove 36, again remove 48. And now if I, if I remove one more element, then it will print underflow. Oh, it is printing overflow here. So it should print underflow. Why it is overflow in my program? Oh, in my program in the remove function, I have thrown the exception and I did not change the message here. So now it should underflow. Okay, now let me run it again. Compile, run. 
I insert 1, insert 2, insert 3, insert 4. When I insert 5 value, it will print overflow. Now remove. So I remove the first element. So removed element 1, removed element 2, again remove, removed element 3, again remove, removed element 4, and again remove, then it is printing underflow. So this is how circular queue is implemented in C++. I will advise you to divide this code into three different files. One is circularq.h, cq.h, then cq.cpp and main.cpp. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed.